Hi, my name is Nina Burgos and I'm with Carter Socks here and we're both associate attorneys at the Dabdub Law Firm. Today we're going to talk to you about the five top mistakes that people make when they're filing their own disability claim with the goal of helping you avoid these pitfalls. Number one, waiting too long to submit your claim. All policies contain a proof of loss provision. This sets a deadline for you to submit your claim. In most policies, this will be about 30 to 60 days, but it's best to submit your claim right away to avoid any issues. Also, don't adjust your occupational duties or work schedule to fit your restrictions and limitations. This could change the definition of your occupation and could hurt your claim overall. Number two, failing to submit medical records along with your claim. The insurance company may not ask for your medical records. Send them anyway. The insurance company is going to send you an authorization for you to complete so they can get the records themselves. But it is, at the end, your responsibility to provide this information for your claim. Keep submitting updated medical records as you see your treating physicians throughout the entire claim process. Third, failing to have your doctor identify specific restrictions and limitations that keep you from working. We have a lot of people who call and they, they say their doctors have written them out of work. This is usually a quick note from the doctor saying, Nina, for example, can no longer work. This isn't gonna be sufficient for a short-term or long-term disability claim. You should have your doctor tie your medical condition to specific restrictions and limitations. So for example, Nina suffers from a knee condition that causes chronic pain and causes her to be unable to sit for more than four hours in an eight hour day. Number four, failing to follow up with the insurance company. Document everything that happens. Any letters you send in, every conversation that you have, write down who you spoke with, what was said, and when you spoke with them. Also, the insurance company is, has to be held to strict deadlines in making a decision on your claim. That could either fall under the federal law that governs at ERISA or in the actual disability policy itself. If you wait too long and you let the insurance company take delay and extension after extension, you may be giving up rights when you do so. Finally, trust your instincts and get advice. If you feel like something is off or the insurance company is too, taking too long to make a decision on your claim, call an ERISA disability attorney. We can talk you through the process, let you know if it's time to get an attorney, and give you advice. 